All right, check this out. I went from $25 an hour to $75 an hour in less than six months. No joke. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how I got my first hourly rate client and how I tripled, more than tripled, my hourly rate in less than six months. So if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know that my first clients were a friend, a family member, and then someone that I found in a Facebook group. This third client that I found in a Facebook group needed a web developer because her current one was leaving. So I applied for the job and got on a call with her. I was actually asking for $25 an hour, but when we got on the phone, she asked if we could start at 20 just for the first month to see how it went. And as this was my first non-friend, non-family client, I said yes. And then after the first month, we did end up going up to $25 an hour. But here's the thing to know. Every new client that I got, I would raise my hourly rate by five bucks. So after about two months, I actually had to go back to her and say, we need to raise my hourly rate again because other clients were paying me quite a lot more. I actually didn't stay with this client for very long because other clients were paying me so much more and she wasn't able to match it. And you know what? That's okay. You will get to a point where you might need to let older clients go because they can't afford you anymore. As you get more and more experience and as you expand your skills and what you offer, you should absolutely increase your rates. As I said before, I kept going up and up by $5 with every new client. That is until one of my clients raised my rates for me because she was so impressed with what I could do. Yes. True story. I actually met her at an in-person event and I was terrified being an introvert. I was really outside of my comfort zone, but I started chatting with her over dinner and we were talking about websites and I told her how much I love to code and I love media queries and I love making websites mobile responsive. Yes, I am a super geek. And no lie, she literally said to me, oh my gosh, I wanna hire you, what is your hourly rate? I was so pleased with myself to tell her that I had just signed a new client at $45 an hour. And you know what she said? <laughs> she literally said, I'll pay you 50. I ended up being at the $50 an hour for a little while and I was really pleased with that. Now, fast forward a couple months. I remember I was at home and it was the middle of the night and my husband was out of town and I was doing the thing where you're scrolling through Facebook in all hours of the night and then it happened. I saw someone post in a Facebook group saying she desperately needed WordPress help because her developer had ghosted her. So naturally I reached out and said, I can help. We got on a call the next day and I remember thinking to myself, I didn't actually need another client. So I thought, what the heck? I'll go for a higher rate and see what happens. If I got her as a client, awesome. If I didn't, no big deal. So I told her my hourly rate was $75 and she said yes. She actually ended up being one of my favorite clients ever. I worked with her all the way up until the end when I stopped doing client work to focus primarily just on teaching. So that's my story, but I would love to hear yours. Let me know in the comments, does raising your rates scare you? Now I know it can be really hard to do, especially with current clients, but I was confident in my skills and I knew I could solve their problems. And that's all because I learned how to code. I knew how to troubleshoot and how to problem solve and how to fix all those little bitty problems that drive people crazy with their websites. Coding skills are so valuable and by learning this skill set, you can absolutely start raising your rates. I hope this video was helpful and if you would like to learn more about learning to code, we would love to have you join us for our next free five day coding challenge. The link is in the description below. Awesome. Bye everybody. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the five day coding challenge.